Welcome to Minutes by Minutes. I'm Algie Nichols. And I'm Dave Kenny. And we're here to talk about what goes on in the village, the township. Uh, you know, those government entities that make <laughs> regulations, laws, and affect you. That's right. And whether you live in the village of Leonard, the village of Oxford, Addison Township, or Oxford Township, these are the people that oh, you elected and the commissions and the committees that make decisions that directly affect you, whether you chose to go to that meeting or not. And that's why we're here. Well said. <laughs> Thank you. And the other thing that we do is we watch for humor, don't we? Yes, we do. And you think there's sometimes humor? Sometimes we find high humor, sometimes the humor got to dig a little deeper. <laughs> All found in these meetings. Yes, indeed. Do you think? Absolutely. Would you believe? I do. Okay. I believe. We also have one of us who spreads rumors, and that would be... Hey. This guy. So you want to make sure you attend these meetings, make sure you get the clear scoop. I only start them. He confirms them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, let's talk about a couple of meetings that we can confirm, okay? One is the Addison Township <laughs> Parks and Recreation. Oh, I, boy. I love it. You okay. love it. That's your, that's your little pet. Yeah. Come on. Hey, those guys are a lot of fun. I'll <laughs> I tell you why as we go through this. But the other one is the Leonard uh, Village uh, Council. Okay. Meeting. So small town of Leonard. I love Leonard, too. Little That's town, very, takes very you nice back about town. 30, 40 years. Lots of horses out there. Lots of horses out there. Few chickens, too. Few chickens. Few chickens, yeah. Why did that chicken cross the road? I have no idea. Well, neither did he. <laughs> no. And I do know that at nighttime, there's lots of stars in the sky. That's right, because Clear. there's no light pollution. <laughs> right. So that's good. Uh, we will talk a little bit later of perhaps uh, some of the people that made the November ballot. You know, from the oh, primary. Okay. So yeah. we'll talk about that just for a brief. But let's get into the first meeting, which is the Addison Township Parks and Recreation, shall we? Okay. We shall. Okay. Uh, chairperson is uh, Rod Blazik. Mm -hmm. Rod does a good job over there in bringing everybody together. They did have a few stragglers this time. Uh, Larry um, Douglas uh, was absent, and also Bruce Pearson, who oh, normally is the on the magician. This board. The, the magician. <laughs> he pulls things out of the ground, called light I post. I've... All kinds of things. Doors. The guy is amazing. Were no doors. The guy is absolutely amazing. <laughs> yep. He rolls up his sleeves and whatever needs to get done. Give me that hammer. I'll make that train a new track. Whatever he does. Right? That's right. <laughs> okay. Faster than the eye can see. You got it. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that being said, um, Rod uh, Blazik is chairman. Uh, Cole uh, chair is uh, Chuck uh, Perrinian, I believe it is. That's always a tough one for me, and we've been threatening I'm going to leave you his... hanging on that one. <laughs> <laughs> we've been threatening to change his name to Smith, but I'm not the only one. I'm expecting but... a call from Chuck right about now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he does a, a great job at keeping uh, track of the minutes and everything else that goes on, actually, Good. for the Parks and Recreation. Very and knowledgeable this is, and guy. this is where they actually read the minutes, isn't it? They do. They read okay. them from beginning to end, so you know exactly what was discussed. No one has any excuse. No. Okay. So the agenda was brought up. And, of course, it was approved right away because they want to get on with the meeting. Uh, supervisor's report was put on back burner because the supervisor wasn't there. Right. Uh -huh. He had something pretty important to do, I think, that, that day. Supervisory sure stuff, you know. Supervisory stuff he was doing. <laughs> That's yeah, right. probably was. Anyway, knowing him, he was doing beyond supervisory stuff. That's super supervisory stuff. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? That other reality. <laughs> that other reality. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, they said, well, the first thing is bills. Do we have any bills? Yeah, we do have some bills, and that would be $199.63. Oh Boy, we God. should be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they actually went on to itemize, you know, what was done with the bills. Uh, you know, what, what completed the bills, and that, a trimmer head was needed, one had broken, I guess. Oh. Uh, lawnmower gas. No, you got to have gas for the, make the lawnmower go. And uh, they had a couple of lamps that had to go on uh, light poles. Oh. Know, they had burned out. So, as they do, $199.63. Of course, it was approved immediately. No problem at all. Well, they saw the light, at least <laughs> they, after they were installed. <laughs> they did see the light, <laughs> yes, after they put them on. Right. Um, let me see. They, um, Michigan State and Oakland County also had you a. The, you uh, mean the state of Michigan? Yeah, 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 the state of Michigan, yes. Not the universe. Yeah, <laughs> put on by the state of Michigan for Oakland County, uh, held a. Endangered Species Seminar, and all these um, uh, park rangers and so forth attended. Huh? So they got quite a bit out of that, I guess, and how to keep Smoky Bear behind the bear instead of hustling. What endangered species do they have out there? Uh, they probably got a lot of them out there, considering the people that shoot guns out there. Well, <laughs> probably a lot of them. Maybe it's a new definition, locally, and, and locally endangered. 
<laughs> Could be. Yeah. Even humans occasionally are endangered well. out there, but these are animals species. Okay. Well, we'd be an animal, I guess. Well, anyway, all animals. They were okay. covering them. Um, so anyway, it was a pretty interesting thing, I guess. Uh, old business, they said, well, <clears throat> speaking of wells, <laughs> at the Arnold School, they said um, they need to uh, pursue that and get that well put in so they have water uh, put in the basement area. Oh, wasn't said, there something special about that well? Well, well. <laughs> well. It's well. a deep subject. <laughs> it is. <laughs> the well itself, uh, there were a couple of ways that they were looking to do it. A shallow well, which was thrown out because of the health uh, regulations. True. And so it looks like they're going to have to go with a deep well, but I don't believe they have all the bid uh, information in yet in order to do it. So how and, deep is a deep well? I think it can be 100, 200 feet or so. 200 feet? Yeah, 200 feet can be, 250 feet, depending on how deep they got to go. Wow. Uh, in order to get fresh, good water. So anyway, so a well company will be solicited to find out you know, how much it will cost to do all this, and apparently mm -hmm. they haven't done that yet. So it was, okay. it was tabled. Can you say table? Yeah. Okay, well, table. It was only a drill. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> install light poles. Remember those light poles that they were going to put? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, wait a minute. This is not the light poles that needed the lights. These are light poles that need to be planted. That's correct. Okay. And that's at the uh, water preserve. Um, east parking lot. Okay. And they need to put two of them in. Remember we talked about this before? I yeah, think. yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so well, didn't, they, didn't Bruce come up with well, those? <laughs> well, they have the post, but they need to run the cables and everything underground. Oh, they uh, haven't done that yet. And, uh, and devils in the details. Yeah, right. And the question came, excuse me, about is the township going to pay for the materials, you know, to run these cables and so forth? And they looked at each other and said, "Gee, I don't know. Maybe they are." You we know, salute the township. Where's Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> Bruce wasn't there. <laughs> okay, so they couldn't check with him. So they said, well, let's, let's put it on hold, and we'll discuss this with him and see how much of it he's going to pay for. And if, he's, if we're going to cover the cables, then we'll have to get going on it. And get in the it end, completed. he pays for it. In, in the, the end, he'll pay for it somehow. <laughs> well, actually, you do out there oh, right. eventually. You know, it, it's They're, trickled, trickled as, down as the park As the Park and Rec Committee is funded by the township, <laughs> guess who pays? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, the thing is, that board, the Essendon Township Board, is pretty tight. I mean, they watch the money, so uh, I suspect they're not going to uh, spend any money, you know, frugally. Okay. Uh, ridiculously. Frugal. But necessarily. <laughs> but necessarily, they might. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. Purchase uh, two metal locking cabinets. They said they need them for the bathrooms. They have, you, you remember they installed two bathrooms? Various park areas. They protecting yeah. that valuable toilet paper or they, what? That's exactly what they're for. Oh. <laughs> for that and plungers. And well, plungers and cleaning like materials. That. Cleaning materials. Yeah, yep. sure. So mm -hmm. they got to be locking. Of course, what will happen is a burglar will come in and they say, oh, a cabinet, just what I need. <laughs> and there it'll go. <laughs> so they, you know, they have to anchor it, of course, to the wall. Of course, they'll say, hey, good, a cabinet. We'll take it. And oh, a wall. It's on a wall. We'll take the wall, too. That's a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the way burglars work, I think. But anyway, so they said uh, it's a good idea, but let's get some bids on it and find out what it'll cost to do it. So again, that was pretty much put aside. Uh, split rail fence. Remember, we talked about the uh, fence at Lake George, uh, either putting in boulders or putting in a split rail fence. Oh. Well, they decided that they would try the boulder approach. Uh, you know, because if you put it on a hill or roll down. Like those boulder hedgerows you see over in Ireland. <laughs> yes, right. So anyway, actually there are boulders on the front of the parking lot, which um, Rod Blazik said he can move those with his uh, tractor uh, to the back and position them there if, if there's some help to, you know, once he gets there. And they said, well, they, they can get him help. So, you know, they have help. They're high, behind every tree. That's not right. the bears, Ranger they're actually Bob. Boy Scouts. Or Ranger Bob. <laughs> or Ranger Bob. <laughs> yeah. So with that, let's talk about this more when we come back right after this. Yeah. Canines for Rescue does just that. Rescue stray dogs for new families. But they need your help. Become a volunteer at Canine Stray Rescue League of Michigan. Take dogs for walks, help them socialize with others, and help them get adopted. Fill out an application and help a family add a new member today. And welcome back to Minutes by Minutes. I'm Elgin Nichols. And I'm Dave Kenny. And we were talking about the parks and recreation over there in Addison Township. And we just got through talking about rocks. 
rocks. <laughs> yeah. And now we're going to talk about the garage door that's uh, at the Lake George location. Remember they were supposed to put a new door on? That's right. Well, that hasn't been done. And uh, so they were checking into it. And Charlie said... So they got no door or an old door? They got, they got the old door there okay. right now. They got it sealed up. But, <laughs> All right. Uh, they said, hey, Charlie, did you talk to the people who are supposed to put this door in? Charlie says, yeah, I did. They haven't forgotten us, but they're really busy. Uh -huh. And he said, when they become non-busy, he said, they will put the door in. Can you say January or February? <laughs> can you say snow? I could say deep <laughs> snow. Anyhow, uh, that's what will happen with that door, but it's going to be done ev eventually. Um, they then talked about the dock that they're going to be putting in at Lake George, and it needs to be handicap certified. That's, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, you say dock and handicap certified, that kind of doesn't even click yeah. in my mind. <laughs> right. Yeah. Actually, uh, there was quite a discussion on that, and Charlie said that he did some checking, and he said that actually most locations that have these handicap docks, they don't really have them certified because of the red tape and everything they have to go through. But there is a, an ADA compliant. Now, whatever the ADA seal is, he said it's not full certification, but it's what most of these parks and ADA is a national, a national organization? Yeah. Whereas the other one is a state? State. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, uh, they said, well, then that makes sense. Let's look at that. And he said, well, I, I have a company in line. He said that has installed these in the past. And uh, the, the people that want to put these in, they said, well, how deep is the water? Well, Charlie said, oh, I don't really know. He said, so we're going to have to measure it. So they talked about how they're going to measure it. And there's actually a tool. Is the lake is, is the lake certified <laughs> compliant? <laughs> I have no idea. But I think it must be. But they said, well, how long is this uh, dock going to be? Charlie says, yeah. He says, it's going to be 50 feet, 75 feet, 100 feet. And he said, well, I think we need to go down there and check it out, measure it out. Mm. Gets, to the other, gets to the other end of the lake. You know what they call it? A bridge. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what it could be. Yeah. <laughs> the little, uh, uh, what do they call them, chipmunks that roll their canoes could <laughs> go underneath there. I don't know. But anyway, they're going to have to do something there. And they said, well, uh, let's check the, uh, the depth of the lake. Let's get a schedule. Uh, of these people, and let's go out there because we know that there's some weeds or cattails at a certain distance. We want to go beyond that, you know, so that the handicap can won't have to wade through weeds to get there. Wade? Yeah, could be. <laughs> I don't know how deep this is going to go. They've got certified muck. <laughs> they, could, they, could, they could have that. I'm oh, not sure. But anyway, they're going to check it out, and I'm sure they'll get it right. Uh, so there's another meeting that they're going to have with the, actually the construction company involved in this. Uh, new business. Install uh, park hour signs look, uh, for sunrise to sunset. And they're going to put these signs in uh, at the um, Watershed Preserve Park East and what, West. What kind of sign is that again? It's going to say sunrise to sunset is the deadline for people. Look, you can get in at sunrise, and you get better get out at sunset. Is that the same as dusk to twilight? It is. Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> but anyway, they, that's what they're going to do. They're also going to um, put a large sign on, at the nature park um, for Lake George as well. <laughs> you, you, what does it say? If you can't read this sign, go away. <laughs> go away, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, Lake George, they sit in, on the park. Um, they're going to put a 4 by 6 sign, and they're going to put a map on it. Hmm? Well, that's good. People will know, hey, you're here. You've seen that before. We're here. You could be here. Could be here lost. Mm -hmm. You know. But if you're here lost... The map is here. <laughs> I see. So that's the way that'll work. Um, we know where you are, but you <laughs> yeah. don't. <laughs> they said, well, at least, at least let's put a map on there, and then if there's anything else we want in terms of information, we can add it later. And they can add a button to smart. send up a flare. Yeah, <laughs> could do that. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's what they're doing with the parks, so you folks should know that out mm. there. Watch for the signs. And while you're watching for the signs, watch for the bears. <laughs> You know, don't bear pet, sign. Don't if you see any bear sign, don't follow it. <laughs> right, don't do that. Okay, other Lake George uh, Nature Park projects. Okay, Boy Scouts are going to paint, supposedly, if they can line it up, uh, the poles and sign posts and so forth there, there to make them look pretty sharp. Wax on? Wax yeah, off. Yeah, Boy Scouts out there do quite a, quite a job. They mm -hmm. do help a lot. Um, and Perch Pond, they're also... Um, let me see, they need some trees trimmed in that area. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, Mr. Blazik has removed some of the trees that have fallen in the past in that area. 
uh, at, uh, so that people can you know, fish from the other side of the pond. Also on Perch Pond, uh, they said during public forum, they said, is there any public that wants to speak? I, I want to talk. I want are we talk is this the same pond that had the icky fish? Yeah, this is it. Oh, okay. They're all good now. Oh, okay. Fish are good. <laughs> uh, they're all one color now instead of spiders. So that's good. Now you're uh, amazing what a little dye will do. Yeah, right. No. <laughs> so anyway, the public, they said, well, I have something to say. They said, what's that? I said, trash cans over there in uh, Perch uh, Pond. He said, they're full. Nobody picks them up. He said, so the, not even the bears? And not even the bears. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad garbage when the bears won't even. <laughs> but anyway, so they said, well, we'll check into it. We'll make sure that those picked up. He said, okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, they said, by the way, um, back in the back portion around that area, there's what they call bittersweets, which are these vines that take over trees. He said, they've gone crazy. Bittersweets? They're called bittersweets. Never heard that before, did you? I've seen wild grape vines, yeah, but well, they're, not bittersweets. They're called bittersweet, bittersweets. Yeah. And they take over trees, bushes, everything. And, and, and Rod Blazik said, going back there, he said, it's almost... Does that have something to do with the experience of trying to take them down? Yeah. <laughs> he said that you can't actually pull them out as such. He said, it's quite a job. Oh. But they need to do something with it. And then one guy says, and from the audience, he says, oh, by the way, the Phragmites are just as big a problem. Is it Phragmites or Phragmites? Phragmites okay. is what they pronounced them. I see. Phragmites. Sci Mr. Science Guy, tell oh. me different. <laughs> okay. No, no. These guys would know. <laughs> they have Phragmites coming up the stream. <laughs> so anyway, they said that it's almost impossible to get rid of these things. You get rid of them, all they need is just a little little stalk and they... They grow up and ri have rhizomes? And they or bring what? friends with them. Huh? Are they have rhizomes like cattails and stuff? Yeah, or I what? think they do. I don't know. All but right. they, they're just omnipresent. Omnipresent? Present. <laughs> Wait for the election for yeah, the president. Yeah, omnipresent. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so they're that. Uh, so anyway, they said, well, even uh, herbicides and everything, you can't get rid of stuff like that. And only, only temporary. So that being said, that's what's going on in the parks uh, over there in Addison Township. Next thing, let's talk about the uh, Leonard... Village Council, shall we? All righty. Okay, they did the pledge. Pledge. They said the prayer. Charles uh, Sotheby said the mm -hmm. prayer. And uh, roll call was taken. Uh, the July 11th minutes were read and approved. Mm -hmm. And let me see, the agenda, um, items that were on the on the agenda were, agenda were the Leonard Trail bed discussion. Is Com that part of the Pollyann Trail? Uh, it is part of the Pollyann Trail. It is. Okay. Community development uh, block grant um, uh, reprogramming. And I'll explain that as we go along. How about the old mill without the stream? Oh, uh, the old mill is still there. <laughs> okay. No stream, but the old oh, mill is still right. there and they're still working on it. Okay. Uh, community, as a matter of fact, they're probably going to have a work uh, call on that at some point in the future. And we'll let you folks know when that is. Uh, get your shovels, rakes, hammers, and everything going out there and help them out. Uh, community um, mental health resolution. Uh, Drug-free uh, workplace policy. Adoption. I thought they were going to say, "Is everybody happy?" <laughs> no, <laughs> no yeah. they probably are if they get out. But if they're, uh, you know, if they're inside, they're probably not right, so happy. Right. Physical management uh, policy adoption. Those are the items on the agenda. And um, the first thing they asked for is the treasurer's report. So the treasurer's report. Uh, they said that uh, there are bills payable. And one was uh, three, $34,284.12, which goes against the general account. Wow. $331.15 against the main fund. Well, wait a and, minute. Did you say 1000 before? Uh, yeah, 34284 Okay. In 12 cents. And what was the other one? The other one was $331.15. That's for the main fund. And then uh, they took $807.58 cents from who knows what fund, but they had to steal, the, I mean, take the money, so they did. Oh, <laughs> That's the way that worked. Sorry, Peter, it was Paul. Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll talk more when we come back right after this, folks. <laughs> a small town with a lot of heart and history. A hidden gem with a sense of community. Welcome to Leonard. Welcome back to Minutes by Minutes. I'm Elgin Nichols. And I'm Dave Kenny. And we are talking about the Leonard Village Council. And we just got talking about the treasurer's report. We yep. had a little discussion off camera here. <laughs> and uh, wonder why they were so high. And I said, well, they're probably getting paid once a year. <laughs> I have <Ooh>. no idea. <laughs> but anyway, so the public uh, comment 
at that point was, uh, let me see, not on the agenda, was a Mr. Ratford stood up. He says, hey, he said, I want to pay my taxes here. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. And Mike, right now. Mike, yeah. Mike McDonald said, well, I don't think you can do that right here. <laughs> he said, uh, I, I, I don't think this is the time or the place to do it. And uh, he says, well, he said, I got a check right here. He said, why won't you take my check? <laughs> and uh, Mike says, well, he said, uh, we'll work arrangements with you after the meeting if you want <laughs> and how to handle it or how to take care uh, of it. I've never seen one like that one. <laughs> I never have either, and neither has he. So anyway, so he, the guy finally reluctantly says, turns to the cameraman, he says, my I money, want a copy of this. <laughs> my money no good or what? <laughs> I guess not. I don't know. But anyway, strange. Wow. Um, I think he was the one that was <clears throat> being chased down the road by the bear. I'm not sure. I see. <laughs> but anyway, he ended up in, in, in here trying to pay his bill. I'd say take his money, guys, you know. And I'd say, you know, since it's hand-carried here, I might even charge a little hand-carried fee on this, I mean, from the township or the mm -hmm. village. What do you think? I, no, maybe I, couldn't I'm do not, that. I don't think I'm thinking on that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're not, okay. Um, anyway, another complaint was about chuck holes on a local road. And uh, most of the uh, people on the board, they said, well, we don't recall What's the any. difference in a chuck hole and a pothole? I think they're both the same. I see. By a different name, but both a the same. A rose is still a rose. <laughs> it is. <laughs> if you fall into one or the other, it's going to feel the same. I see. That's why they're the same, right? There goes my wheels. <laughs> it is. Okay. New business. $380 um, came back as a credit from Smart uh, Transportation. How much? $380. Oh, they got a refund. Good. So the motion was made to send the money over to NOTA, North Oakland Transportation mm -hmm. Authority. A so, worthy cause. A worthy cause. And they do a great job out there as they do all, excuse me, all over Oxford and Addison Township. So that was agreed upon and approved. Um, the next thing that came up <coughs> was the Pollyann Trail Board. Uh, the Leonard Trail Board at the head of the trail uh, they want to put in a as opposed to the commission. Column. Yeah, they want. Not, to, yeah, not the board. No, just not right. the commission, commission. Just literally a board. A board. <laughs> yep. A board. A board. Board. A board. But anyway, uh, they want to put in a drinking fountain. It was it was um, provided uh, free through a resident, no mm -hmm. charge, five thousand dollar water fountain, but they well, have to install it. The village has to install it. Is that a water fountain hooked up to a water supply, or does it have to be resupplied? Well, according to Mike McDonald, there's water supply there now. It's oh. just a matter of connecting it up, you know, providing the proper pipes and so forth to do that. Okay. And uh, so they pretty much agreed to do that, um, uh, the complete installation. But uh, Mr. McDonald said, I would like to request $750 for the installation. He said, I don't know if it's going to come to that much. May not. And he said, we may get some people that might volunteer, you know, the cost of the hookup. He said, but I would appreciate it, he said, if you would approve it. And they did. Okay. So $750 for a hookup. So you're going to get a water fountain out there, folks. Um, block grant. They, you remember the uh, block grant program that they have? There's a three-year limit that they have to use the money. Mm -hmm. Well, in this case here, the, the monies are from 2013 to 2014. Is that also known as CDBG? It or is. is it? Okay. Yep, CDBG. And it's uh, the allotment for 2013-2014, and they have money not spent at the tune of about $3,837.89. Quick, find things to do. Right. Well, no. <laughs> what they want to do is move it, and they, they're allowed to move it. Move uh, it? Yeah. Into, move what? Move that money into the 2016-17 allotment, and which will bring it to a total of roughly $8,837, to my knowledge. So what are we going to do with that money? Now you said, what are we going to do with it? <laughs> what are they going to do with it? <laughs> They're going to do sidewalks, it looks like. Uh, uh, Tom McDonald said it would be nice, you know, on Main Street and maybe in the park area because requirements are the sidewalks cannot be higher in one spot than two inches, you know, offset. So and people can uh, trip Higher than what? Uh, than the pre either the last one or the, you know, where you're taking steps. If you see a, a, a heave in the sidewalk, yeah. if there's a two-inch difference, yeah, it's, you can't do that. It has, to it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it has to be dynamited. Yeah, it has to be dynamited, right. Could be. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so he said that that would be a good cause uh, to use this money. And they pretty much all agreed on that, and they approved on it, and they're going to get some estimates on, on the repairs. So you folks yeah. are going to get better two sidewalks, inches. too. Two inches. Yeah. Yeah. You could, rough on a bike. Yeah, rough on a bike. <laughs> 
<laughs> I do know that there is a process that you can raise the sidewalk that's lower than the other. Rough on that yeah. leading toe on a pair of sandals, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> but get, let's get back to this. What they do is they pump foam in underneath, and the pressure and expansion of the foam actually raise the concrete. Gillette? What? Foam? Oh, no. <laughs> so anyway. Then they shave <clears> it down. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what they do for, uh, you know, home sidewalks and things like that. Just so you folks know, there's a company that does that, many companies that do it, uh, contractors. Uh, community mental health resolution. That's a state requirement in order to get okay. it in compliance. So they just went ahead and approved the regulation. Uh, what it does, what it says, I have no idea. But they said, if let's do it. If it makes people it. happy, if then it makes the mental the state health thing happy, is good. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes the state happy, we're happy. Right, that's the way they look at it. That Smart ensures people. their mental health is good. It does. Uh, Drug-free work area. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, okay. Who wants a bunch of druggies running around your place? That's true. Okay, that's so true. They, uh, they said, we don't want any druggies running through our operation here. So they did approve that as well. Does that mean that they also do testing? They do testing. Okay. If they have to, they will. Say, hey, he looks a little tipsy there. Let's check him out. No, is it, is it, is it, yeah. is it based on suspicion or based on a regular basis? I, I think you have to find some kind of evidence and proof to give you enough sufficient okay you know, know how to move ahead okay. with the next step. I know some organizations do it on a random basis mm -hmm. and just to be sure. Yeah, but yeah, they do. And, and some do base it, base it on visual observation of an employee or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. I see that. And I notice every time they do it here, you're gone. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, that is a pretty good program. And they implemented all this, uh, you know, to get started almost immediately and accord with federal and state regulations. Ah, makes sense. Old business, none. Uh -huh. No old business. Okay, they've taken care of all You've the old business. You've never said that before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Um, let me see, what other? Oh, they're short one trustee because uh, one guy is uh, going, going to leave and so there's an appointment that needs to be done. Is it gonna be an appointment or? They can or, appoint. Or was that individual going to have to run for re-election this year? Well, normally if there's an open vacancy, if somebody leaves the area or mm -hmm. has a health issue and resigns, sure. then they appoint somebody to fill that slot until the end of that particular term. What's, what's the end of the This term is two years. Oh, So okay. when that expires, then that individual, if they want to be back on the board, will run. Will have to run. Okay. Got it? Okay. Get it? Uh, any Got it? any reports from the council? <laughs> None. Boy, that made it pretty quick. Um, but nothing else, that's pretty much it. Uh, one other issue I want to uh, just hit on quickly, and that is the election that uh, took place in Oxford. Jack Curtis. See that smile? <laughs> Patty Durr, <laughs> Margaret Payne, and Elgin Nichols yeah. <laughs> will be on the Oxford Congratulations, board. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you very much. Nice. Uh, thank you, folks out there, for Your voting honor. for me. <laughs> yep. Bill Dunn, of course, uh, the supervisor, and Curtis Wright and Joe Ferrari uh, were incumbents who nobody has challenged, so they will be on the November ballot. Addison Township, you got uh, Joel King, Jacob Newby, 18 year old, that just really? won a seat. He did. And uh, Eric Sent and uh, Linda Garrick. Of course, all of this doesn't become official, official until the November, November. election. Correct. And of course. But you don't have to wait till like. January when the or February when the president actually gets in yours is immediate right well uh, there might be a little delay uh, they gotta uh, take the other people that are in there and drag them off oh well, that's true and kicking. kicking and screaming I know. <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> what's coming up by the way we do have meetings on 8 16 at 7 o'clock the village of Oxford planning commission meets and on that same day at 7 o'clock Addison Township Fire Board one of your favorites yes and on 8 17 at Three o'clock in the afternoon, the Pollyann Trail uh, Management Council will be meeting at the Orion Township offices. And the next day on 818 at 430, NOTA will be meeting at the Addison Township offices. And on 822 at 4 o'clock, uh, the Oxford Area Cable Communications Commission, our parent <laughs> body, will be meeting at the Village of Oxford offices, as they always will from now on. And on 8.23 at 6.30, the Oxford Board of Education will be meeting this time at Crossroads for Youth. Fantastic. This is Minutes by Minutes. I'm, I'm Dave Kenny. You paused too long, sir. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time, right here. Bye-bye. <laughs>